Oh, I forgot if someone wouldn't mind, uh, uh, Lee, actually, if you wouldn't mind, uh, just look up for me. I think you may already have the stats, how far a person falls in a single round. I forgot to look that up. I believe it's 30 feet. 30 feet per round. I, that sounds that sounds right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just checking. Chafing Armor Podcast, episode 70. It's not the fall, it's the sudden stop. Welcome back to the Chafing Armor Podcast. I'm your host, and barely on time, Isabel and I were at a art walk. <laughs> Thanks for calling me out, Dad. <laughs> calling you out is going to an art walk? That just makes us uh, super fancy. Plus, there was a free cookie, so, you know. Oh, man, so many free cookies. In our last episodes, some interesting things happened. So the uh, adventurers managed to finish off the rest of the lizard folk. The rest of them took flight underground, only to then have a giant purple worm, even bigger than the one from before, come crashing through the cavern from below, bringing with it thousands upon thousands of gallons of water, which initiated a skill challenge. And through this skill challenge, you were trying to save the villagers, along with a few other miscellaneous people, including Tigrin, a half-orc that Marezi and Pinson had actually encountered before when undercover at the mining operation. Oh, yeah. They uh, attempted to use the skill challenge to save everyone. Unfortunately, the skill challenge failed. Ooh. So then it became a fight for your life. However, because of many uh, really good ideas, honestly, uh, Morezzi was able to save close to a dozen people by trapping them in rafts that she had hastily put together made out of the old wooden cages. And they are now lodged in the bridge that goes over this incredibly long down, let us say... 200 foot drop shall Oof. we yes and as the water courses over it uh similarly uh osokai led a group of elderly gentlemen and women over the vines using his skill as a ranger not to trigger the vines that would strangle you unfortunately uh Tix, while he did many brave things and helped to save the other people in the other rafts he himself was going over the edge because of his successes of very bad roles. Osokai was able to save Tix by throwing him into the strangling vines, which are now currently wrapping him up. But again, through an incredible series of bad roles, Osokai is now several, uh, perhaps a dozen feet or more down uh, off the crevasse. And as he was beginning to fall, Pinton had actually leaned out of Audrey 2 and fired a magic missile. I'm sorry, that Audrey would be... Three. Audrey 3, sorry. Both of those things were wrong. Out of Audrey 3, fired a web to trap him against the wall and save Osokai. Again! <laughs> Again! Bad rolls. Uh, he began to fall out of the web and is beginning to free fall. As he does, the five Aarakocra, who you have saved by defeating the woman at the center of this Colosseum, have dived after Osokai. However, if you look up the Aarakocra, you will see that while they are very dexterous, they are not very strong. They do not possess the strength to pull a 300-pound ranger out of a freefall. So what they exactly they're doing, you do not know. By the way, uh, Pinson, the reason you were not in the thick of this mm -hmm. is you were using Audrey 3 to save a bunch of these villagers because Audrey is extremely sturdy on its giant chicken legs and you were ushering the villagers into it. You now have close to, I'm just going to say for simplicity again, a dozen of the villagers inside Audrey. You also managed to snag a very, very grumpy and disgruntled Aki who was all puffed up and floating about in the water and you snagged him as well. I'm oh, sorry, good. you snagged her. her as well. Excellent. That's what all is going on. Oof. And now you are all on the edge, Morezi hanging off the bridge, Osokai beginning to fall to his death, Tix enwrapped by vines, 
Penton leaning out of Audrey 3 right next to the coursing water near the vines. And you know what I would really love everybody to do? Roll for initiative. Dun, dun. God! Because I'm that free. Is... free. What's that, Marezzi? 18. 18 for Marezzi. And I'm assuming that we are keeping the hit points that we had last yes. session. Yes, keep all of your hit points and damage and such. And uh, what is it for? Six for ticks. Oh, by the way, I forgot huh. to say... Uh, because I went into my my great uh, intro, I forgot to introduce you all as I normally do. Tix is having some mic problems. Uh, hopefully, he's going to be on in just a little bit. He is with us, literally in spirit. Uh, hmm. Tix rolls a six, and uh, what is for Osokai? Four. A four for Osokai. Ominous slow roll. Yes, indeed. Mm. That will bring it to Pinson. Ah, uh, sixteen. Penton gets a 16 and a quick roll, seven. So just for context, um, mm -hmm. my initiative modifier is three. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, We're off to so a good you, start with my dice. You're off to, you've already rolled a one and we just got started. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's your last one of the day. Getting it another so one. Let's see, yeah, let's see where you're getting your ones out. Since it might be the last time you get to do this, and I immediately launched into it, I was so excited. Since we'll, we'll go in initiative order, Izzy, tell everybody who you will be playing. I will be playing Marezi Mugra, a half orc barbarian who is currently leaning over, not hanging off of, a bridge. That's right. You are hanging off of, uh, sorry, leaning, uh, leaning yes. over. Leaning over, not hanging off of, because you said that. I, I had that wrong. I am um, not dying. You are not dying. Yes. Uh, though you are, you are. In a very interesting, precarious position, but not as precarious as certain other characters. And Pinson, uh, or I should I say James. James, who you will you be playing today? <laughs> oh, you're on a roll today. Um, I'm on a roll. Yeah. Uh, I am James. I'll be playing Penton Chalice, a spell skill sorcerer who is apparently never allowed to miss a session ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you missed one session. Lee, Lee, tell everybody who you were or hopefully will be playing. Uh, g'day, everybody. My name is Lee, and I'll be playing the possibly soon-to-be-deceased Osukai, who is currently in freefall. <laughs> Let's hope not. And, of course, the amazing and healingful Tix is being played by Dare. Hopefully Dare will be joining us in voice uh, soon. Uh, these these microphone issues can be very annoying and very tricky. We, we understand. And we <laughs> Hooray, everybody! Tix is with us. Uh, everyone, Dare, tell us who you will be playing. Greetings, everyone. I am Tix, and I am being slowly strangled to death. You are indeed. And uh, now we begin the order with Marezzi with an 18. Marezzi, what would you like to do? My God, I don't even know. What is there to do? Well, there like... there probably isn't a lot you can do for Osukai, to be perfectly honest. You actually did some really incredible things to help him last time. Uh, but with him in free fall... Uh, there's probably not a lot. I mean, certainly I don't want to limit you. Uh, potentially, there may be things you could do to help Tix. How far away? Uh, it's, I'm going to say, I, I don't know if I said last time, I'm going to say that the vines and the bridge on this side, on the side of the Coliseum, are actually a little bit closer than they are on the other side. I'm going to say they're about 30 feet away. That is my... Well, I, what I want you to know, though, is if you are going to cross where the water is currently coursing over, that will be considered difficult terrain. Oh, so um, I have less movement. Okay. Yes. Uh, and in fact, anyone who is walking through this water will need to make a reflex saving throw to not be swept away. Just warning you because you are walking against... You, you are a big, powerful barbarian, but this is coursing water... Uh, that's going over the edge of a giant crevasse. Hmm. However, you can start making your way to him, or you can try a ranged uh, something or other, or you can do anything else. Can I do both? Can I yeah. move and... Okay, I'd like to make... I'd like... Do I need to roll anything to avoid being washed away? I would like you to make a uh, reflex saving throw. It does not actually need to be as high as you might think. 21. That will definitely do it. You are just... <clears throat> Mm, mm, just really planting your feet. Um, and, uh, Tix, how much health do you have? Uh, Tix is really good. Tix is at 42 hit points. I'm, I have two knives on me, and I am going to throw one of those knives at the vines to attempt 
to uh, rele- to cut them away so that ticks may not uh, be strangled. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, doesn't ticks have sanctuary on at the moment? Yes, he does. Oh, uh, oh well, wait. in in that case, uh, currently, and and I will, I'll be okay with uh, that. You saw the flash of energy. You've seen him do that spell before, and it does have a visual component to it. Okay, so you would be aware that he is not actually in danger of being killed by these things at the moment. Oh, okay. Then I think my entire action. I does anyone else have anything that they like an orc to do for them? If not, I will be. My my entire turn is just moving. And that's fine. Sometimes that's all you can do. All right. Works for me. Okay. So you are just drum, 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 making your way through. Uh, by the way, again, that is half movement speed. So that is 15, 15 as opposed to 30. Uh, and that will bring it to Pinton. All right. Um, how far away am I? I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I need to kind of like get an understanding of where I'm at relative to everything mm-hmm. else because I wasn't there to experience it firsthand <laughs> so imagine that you are the the coliseum is behind you where mm-hmm. all the the fun action happened to your left is the bridge that you came across on okay um that is where Morezi uh was and she's now tromping her way across to the vines and also many villagers are on that bridge since it is slatted the water is coursing over it but they can get safely across you are actually in Audrey 3 right Audrey 3 is actually near the edge um Audrey 3 has planted one of its feet kind of on the edge of the vines as i told Osokai in the last adventure not all of these vines are actually active a lot okay. of them are actually dead. So the, the near edges are actually not dangerous. And so Audrey has planted one foot basically to give it a good foothold so okay. that it won't get swept over. And it's actually leaning over slightly. And your head is peering out. You saw all of this happening. And you fired a web with the hope of snaring him against the wall. Okay. And unfortunately, the, he all, he still needed to make a save to stay in that state, and he did not. Okay. Um, so how far... So I'm I'm still well within range of Osakai, yes? You're still well within range of, say, like a spell or any normal thing, yes. Yeah, it's currently okay. just starting to fall. I'm going to try another web then. Okay. Um, and kind absolutely of... Absolutely can do that. I'm going to kind of attach it between the bridge and him. So just kind of like hanging suspended underneath the bridge okay well he is he's really close to the vines okay so you you wouldn't there's not really an angle to ca- attach him to the bridge it's oh he's okay, so he's not he's not falling off the bridge he was falling near the vines okay yes he was near the vines when when all of this went down uh, okay well then actually it, yeah okay so it would be between him and the vines then Okay. Uh, you could definitely, it would be, it, it's not the easiest shot in the world, uh, but you can absolutely do it. Okay. Well, I've uh, got a, like a range of 150 feet, so um, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's not, not a problem. problem. And it c- covers a 20 foot radius area. Mm-hmm. So, Hell, you, could, um, you could try that like five times if you got the spell slots. There. Well, no, but, um, well, because eventually he's going to fall at a range. But, um, well, but yeah. yeah um, he falls 30 feet. So I, yeah. So just cover him and attach it to the vines, and that should stop him from falling. Uh, it absolutely could work. Uh, so the web spell does that have a two hit component? No, or is it no, it does okay. not. It's just an area of effect. Okay, it is an area of effect. So you spring this into existence of web uh, once again, Osokai. You feel uh, this web just. Uh, in just splattering against you, but the web is also splattering against the vines. So, Osokai, oh, <laughs> I would like you to make a reflex saving throw. So, just to amend, um, mm-hmm. falling speed, feather fall, the spell allows one to fall at 60 feet per round, but that's mm. technically half falling speed. Which means I'm falling at 120 feet per round. Okay, uh, so a which, lot more than 30 that were I originally estimated. But yeah. okay, so uh, you are in the process because it's not to your turn yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have just begun to fall, so this is the literally the only time that I would allow that to occur. 
Okay. Okay. Um, if it weren't a heresy, I would literally be praying for this roll to be good. <laughs> so it's a reflex um, save. I will absolve um, you, my child. There you <laughs> go. We do. We do have uh, holy people on this podcast. Okay. I mean, reflex is my best role, but oh, don't keep us as in suspense. <laughs> Just nothing's, lie. If it's nothing's changed, fellas. Nothing, and oh lady, nothing's changed. Please, just lie. Just lie to us. Lie to us, please. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've. That's a one. That's a one. Oh. Um, so, Pinson, you know, your your spell works. Like, it, it does exactly what you want it to do. You hit it. You you know this spell. You The energy courses through you. You cast it so that it materializes, so that the, the web is both attaching itself to the vine, to the bottom parts of the vine, and to Osakai at the same time, but it's just a matter of momentum. He's starting to fall too fast, and snap! A second time, the web snaps. Now, it is actually the Aarakocra's turn. Do y'all remember that you first met the Aarakocra at the party with the king of Hyboria? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I did not go into detail about this, but they did summon a wind elemental. Now, the way that a Aarakocra summons a wind elemental is that five or more have to be together, and they have to do what is known as a wind dance. And it takes more than one turn. And so I am actually saying that the previous turn, them diving down, was them beginning that. This is the second turn of them doing this. And you can feel energy beginning to crackle in the canyon as they do so. But nothing happens right now as Osokai continues to fall. Yeah. Tix, it is your turn. Um, uh, just, just a quick point of order. Um, since he did get like partially snagged by the web, it might have at least slowed him down a little bit. Uh, I will allow that. I will say that he, he has fallen half of his... Uh, it, it broke his momentum. And so this first round, he's actually fallen half of what he normally would have. Uh, so 60 instead of there 120. And that is important because there is a stopping point. <laughs> 200 uh, feet. Would, 200 feet, uh, as I as cl claimed earlier. So 60 is a lot better than 120 because the math does not work out great in your favor as far as those three turns. So, yes, it is Tix's turn. Tix is going to do some heavy praying. Oh, my goodness. And mm -hmm. Now, yeah. just so you're aware, uh, this is a, a homebrew of mine, but uh, many other dungeon masters do it. You can just straight up pray. Uh, however, you should know that direct divine intervention outside of a spell is very, very unlikely. Right. Well, I, I was going to lean towards Guidance, but I was trying to figure out on who I should put Guidance on. And... Uh, yeah, there's only one direction I'm going, so I don't really need the Guidance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're, doing it, you're doing real good. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the problem. I've, I've nailed the down direction, guys. <laughs> so, let's see. None of my spells will really... So, I will cast uh, guidance on Pent uh, Penton and hope that he can pull something out of his magic hat. You never okay. know. You never ever know. What does and guidance do? So that is, I believe, uh, 1d4, 3.5, right? 1d4 to uh, in a roll. Mm -hmm. That's in like an attack or a, like a save or what have you. Yeah, whatever you choose. To okay. Just plus one on an attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. So just plus one. Okay. D4. Plus one. Better than nothing. And and as you do that, the vines are vigorously, because they are not uh, super intelligent, so they're vigorously trying to strangle you, and they cannot uh, because you're... Uh, aura of sanctuary is protecting you. They're just kind of like nar, 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 nar. be making my way uh, to the safe side of the gorge um, after I cast the spell, using the using the tightening vines to allow me to hand over hand and foot over foot to okay. the nearest edge. I would edge. like you to make uh, one reflex saving throw, oh. just so you know you. Do not have to roll high. Uh, you don't have to roll great, but you do need to not roll, say, I don't know, a one. Yeah. Call out post. 
Ooh, that is a pretty 20. Ah, Natural so you just, uh, just like a tightrope walker, you're just like, doop 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 doo and even the, the things trying to strangle you, you're using as handholds, because currently they cannot uh, damage you uh, as you make your way yes. to the safe side uh, over the vines. And that will bring it to Osokai. Osukai. Osukai, you are beginning to plummet <laughs> at blistering speeds. You have never been in a situation like this before. Because when the shark bit you in half, you were just dead instantly. Uh... So, like, what's the rule on instant death? I'm sorry? What is the HP rule on instant death? Oh, I believe it's, uh, isn't it if you, uh, is it's, it less than 10? It's or what is it? Yeah, zero, you are out. And mm -hmm. negative 10 hit yeah. points, you're dead. Negative 10. Negative I thought it was negative 10, yeah. Negative 10, it is instant death. Um, so, the thoughts of Osakai. Hey, what's this thing suddenly coming towards me very fast? Very, very mm. fast. So big and flat and round, it needs a big, wide-sounding name, like Ow, Ow, Round, Ground. That's it. That's a good name. Ground. I wonder if it will be friends with me. <laughs> it will give you um, a clean I, embrace. I, I'll give you I have just... I, I am I am awarding you, uh, though it may you may not have a chance to uh, use it. I am awarding you one inspiration point for quoting uh, Hitchhiker's Guide uh, during your fall to your death. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Osakai! Um, Halfway there, and everything's going well. That's right. Halfway. Uh, um, uh, I'm Osakai is going to. Don't you have a whip? Nope. Oh, I thought you did just like the whip. Well, no, he does actually have a whip, uh, though I don't know if it would be close enough to anything. To uh, what? The whip? You, have, you have the whip that you were using to communicate with animals. Oh, I still have that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could yeah, try and swing still... it in at the web. You could do a dope dance move with it. <laughs> or try and catch the vines. Watch me. Watch me. Oh, uh, what's a whip's only got what? 40 foot range? 10 foot range? Uh, probably. Probably not even that. Probably more like ten feet. Ten feet. It's got ten reach. feet. Yeah, yeah. Reach ten feet. It's too far away for me to use on anything else. Are you close um, to the side of the canyon? Maybe there's like a convenient uh, branch. It is. It is within the realm of possibility that you you did uh, say earlier that you used your your grappling hook to try to pinion it into the wall. That was one of the one of the many many fails. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, so you you do have that on you. Uh, the chance of that succeeding is not great. And uh, a whip it, is also considered an exotic weapon, which I do not have exotic weapon proficiencies, mm. whereas a grappling hook is not. Yeah. Um, it's better than just falling. Yeah, I feel like you kind of probably take your blessings, even if they suck. <laughs> put that on a post. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, put that on a t-shirt. Take your blessings, even if they suck. <laughs> Uh, I'll lash out with the whip at the side of the canyon wall and see if it catches anything as I fall. There's quite a lot of space yeah. I can cover in 60 feet. That's true. Uh, by all means, uh, that would, <laughs> would that be rope handling, I think, would probably be the best one, or? It would be an attack. Yeah, yeah. It's, it it's, it's, it's a weapon. It would be an attack, which means mm -hmm. since I don't have the proficiency, that's a minus 10 to my roll. But you're using it 10? as a you're using it I'm as pretty a rope. Sure. I think it's minus like two or three somewhere around there. Yeah, I think I, you're I'm not going to give it you as a rope. What is your rope handling skill? Uh, uh, bonus. Use rope. Uh, it's like five. Five. Okay. So I would say that about cancels out, uh, and that would be about an even roll. Okay. Uh, and, so but, just a but flat even, roll then. Yeah, it's a flat roll, but you still need to roll high. Yeah, I still need to roll high. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Another it's one. Not a one. It's not a one. Oh, there we go. So you definitely won then if it's not a one. It's a two. A <laughs> uh, two. Okay. Well, and you would have had to have rolled very, very high. Yeah, I don't know. That was a ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it was worth a try, but. It was definitely uh... worth a try. It was better than just. just falling and you mm -hmm. y'all see him just whoa, 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 and it like you even see it it actually like strikes the side of the wall 
but he's just there's nothing for it to grab onto. He was just taking a shot in the dark, literally. Uh, and he is now greatly increasing his speed. We are now to Marissi. I don't know if there's literally anything I can do, and that's very troubling to me and to Marissi that her friend, sort of <coughs> moderately friend, is about to die. All of her other dogs are not in great situations. Well, I mean, it's one of those things where there isn't always a clear thing to do, and there isn't always a clear thing that you can do to help, and you I've can't got, like, always. Two magic bracelets. I wonder if I just like throw it at Osokai. If something beautiful will happen, if like like a like a god comes out of one. And a beautiful says, loss of a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> there are still townspeople to three save. Three <laughs> uh, it is true. There, there are um, on this side. Uh, there are still tan- townspeople that are kind of clinging to the rafts, and uh, they haven't quite gotten on the vines yet. But they haven't gotten off the rafts yet. They're kind of stuck in between the. And Audrey three is pretty close to capacity. So certainly, you could try to help some of those people. You know, either get yeah, on the vines. I, okay. Or... While well, my t- my you... situation might be untenable, there's still stuff you can do. Yeah, I think I'll use, um, I'd say maybe a strength check to try and lift pe- some people up uh, to a safer ground. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me one quick, uh, well, first of all, give me your strength roll and then give me a reflex saving throw. Tell me what both of those are. Strength roll is a uh, four. Four. And... Reflex is five. So five. you have an You're eighteen not strength, right? Uh, my strength is sixteen. So, so it's, it's a, a plus, plus three. Three. So you've got a four, five. Six. So you got a seven. You no, no, that was that was that was that was with the modifier, man. You got oh, a yeah, one. Oh, okay, up. all right. You got the one. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> um. Well. And even even with the reflex, what I'm really checking is just for catastrophic failure. Uh, so basically, you're only able to help one person because it's just such a struggle right now. I mean, you're just slogging through this water. I do want you all to know that the water, uh, uh, you can't really take a moment to look at it right now. It is actually lessening ever so slightly. Uh, Maybe it's, still... it's pooling in the in the canyon, and and uh, Osokai will just clip into that, and it'll be like a little. <laughs> that's right. For that's him. right. He'll he'll fall into a soft cushion of water, and everything will be fine. He'll fall into five feet of water at two hundred miles an hour. He'll be fine. Exactly. He'll be just fine. That's how it works. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. So basically, you're able to help one person up because it's just it's such a slog with those rolls, uh, but it is better than nothing. And that will bring it to Penton. Okay. Um, now that he's kind of out of range and out of the, the ability to do anything, um, I'm going to... Well, I guess I need to focus on getting these people to safety. So I'm going to say a, a quick word to Bahamut to help the Aarakrokra do their flight and uh, get, uh, get Audrey 3 moving again. Okay. Uh, just so you know, the, you could walk across the vines. The safest thing would be to walk across the bridge. Yeah, um, I think, I think the bridge is probably the best route, yeah. Uh, as you have, as you, have uh, you, kinda, you more than anyone has a sense of that uh, there is a difference. The, there is some element of a bag of holding to right. Audrey 3. So when people are in it, they do actually weigh less. Uh, it's not a hundred percent, but it's less, much less, and so it would be technically safe to walk across the bridge. I would like you to do two things for me: one, make an arcana roll, uh, uh, or an arcana again, roll, all right. yeah, whichever you prefer, and or and I would also like you to make a reflex saving throw. Okay, uh, arcana is twenty one. Okay, reflex save. Uh, that is a fourteen. 14. Okay, so you just, it pivots and boom, 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 boom. It's just steadily, I mean, it is literally built for this. These long stilt legs and those big, sturdy, you know, splayed chicken feet is just easily wading through this water and makes it to the bridge and you start to cross over the bridge and you're you're kind of feeling your way a little bit, but you know, and, and you, you hate 
to leave the situation, but you know that you've got these villagers in there and they need to be getting to safety. Right. Well, if the main, if the main thing I need to do is get them across the water, I'll just stop at the foot of the bridge and let them out and they can cross the bridge on their own. Absolutely. Absolutely. That way I can go back for more people. Yeah. You literally can take a step onto the bridge and uh, lower down and then they, because the water is cascading over, but then it's just going over the side. Okay. Um, Yeah. That's definitely what I'll do. Okay. Uh, so you do that, and the people are just streaming out, getting out as fast as they can. There were over now. There were over a dozen people uh, in there, and they are just streaming their way out. Um, and I do want to mention one other thing. You did roll a twenty-one uh, on the Arcana. Yes, yes, that wasn't actually for Audrey three. That was for your prayer to Bahamut. Oh, and so something happens. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, All right. The Aarakocra, this is their third turn. Uh, and they are saying, uh, they are doing their sky dance. And they boom, do their sky dance. And something is happening below Osokai. And something suddenly is charged with a silvery flash. He <laughs> he. And that will bring us to Tix. Oh, uh, Tix will add his prayer to that. Think about throwing the three foot of rope down to Osakai. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's uh, worth a shot. <laughs> he, this is he, the moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, gar- gar- glitter gold. Make this a rope of entanglement. Um, no, Tix will just uh, do a. Prayer to Bahamut for uh, the safe passage of uh, Osokai or and Osokai's soul uh, from deliverance from this situation. Okay, and did you mean Bahamut or? No, Garl Glitter Gold. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, go ahead and, and give me change? give me a divinity <laughs> roll, and I I do want to know what your base roll is and your bonus, your total with your bonus. Okay. Uh, so, is this going off? Of, let's see. Uh, for a do you have a not like a knowledge cleric, religion be, or wisdom? Yeah, this is knowledge religion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I want. Okay. All right, here comes the roll, and the roll is a thirteen, and my mm-hmm. bonus is seven, so that would take it to twenty. Take it to twenty. Okay, so it's an unnatural twenty. An okay, unnatural 20. Uh, that is a, a interesting. Um, response we <laughs> now we now bring it to osukai so how are things going there osukai so far so um, good halfway there i'm gonna try something Let okay a pair. I, I, do. I, I, I don't know if this is gonna work but i just had an idea um flap your arms real hard <laughs> close <Forget> close <laughs> can't fly. We're, we're, we're actually fairly close um i still have a tent on my backpack <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, oh yes please I'm going to attempt a parachute okay uh, is anything, is, anything I, is possible in d and uh, mm-hmm. I'm curious what skill or attribute uh, would you like to try to apply to parachuting survival I, I will accept that <laughs> because you're because doing it to survive I'm trying yep. to survive <laughs> It is it is on the tin. Um so I will allow that. Uh but but I before you roll, I want you to describe to me what he is trying to do as he falls. Osukai is honestly resigned to what's happening, but something inside him says he's not gonna go out without a fight. Um and a tent is essentially just a big canvas sheet. Mm-hmm. Um that, you know, in a windy night, it, it moves around and catches wind and he is falling, making wind. So not that kind of wind. Um, <laughs> so the odds are good that perhaps the tent will catch it, is his thinking. Um, mm-hmm. So he's relatively calm about this and just kind of shrugs off his uh, backpack onto one arm and pulls out the roll of... Of canvas, you know, shrugs the backpack back on and takes a hold of the four corners of the of the canvas and just flicks it out and hopes to God he can hold on. 
because <laughs> uh, yeah, at a hundred at one hundred and twenty feet, um, that's a lot of wind resistance for my You're strength. Approaching terminal velocity there. Yeah, exactly. Um, and um, it's not exactly a proper parachute. I'm not tying it to me. I don't have enough time. But here goes. You've got good news. It's not a one or a two. It's mm-hmm. a three. Oh. Good. We're getting somewhere. You're making your way up. <laughs> that's a that, that's oogly a, moogly. That's a seven total. So uh what I will say is with your uh three plus your bonus for a seven total, the the tent is not ripped out of your hands. <laughs> but what happens is one of the corners, just because of the incredible speeds you're going, you can't hold it together and it just foom! And so what you're holding above you at the moment is essentially uh, a sheet. You know, you're holding, you're holding like three corners, and then one is just up behind you. And now that we're to the bottom of this, uh, rather than than going through an entire other thing, I need to add. You know, as they say, player two has entered the game. Uh, we need to add a new character. So. The one that will replace Osokai when he dies. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's it's Osokai. No. Um, <laughs> what what none of you particularly know, uh, Pinson might have a little knowledge about this, is that while wind elementals often have a very similar shape, they often essentially look like a large tornado with sort of anthropomorphic arms and vague faces. They can actually look like a lot of different things. They actually don't have to have that particular shape. Some of them are almost clear. Some of them are covered in smoke. What happens below you, Osokai? It looks like a you just see these whoom, wings, giant wings, giant dragon wings. Yes. Just I got chills. Whoom. And beat against uh, the ground. You, you. If for those of you who are looking down and seeing this happen, you see the the very measly water that will in no way save him from dying. Uh, just, just part below them as they beat downwards and go upwards, and you feel these incredible yes. gusts of wind going upwards, and two just blazing silver eyes come out of this dark shape it is it is looks like it's made out of shadow and smoke it looks like a wind dragon that is and, the coolest words. and it just shoots upwards it's actually not heading towards you osokai it's heading towards the arakokra That's but not- you're in between <laughs> and so it is heading up towards you what I would like you to do is to give me just one of those, one of those not, not really important or anything, just one of those little little guys reflex saving throws. Oof. Osokai, use like a dice bot. Go online and Google <laughs> dice because I think there's something wrong with your dice. You need, oh my God. <laughs> Google dice roll. Google D20 and use the internet. Um, so, uh. Yeah, what happens next? The, what What did you roll? Do you want to take a guess? What? I'm, I'm guessing it was a natural 20. No. <laughs> it had to be a four. <laughs> no. it has to be the four. Nope. Was it another so, one? It was another one. Oh, my wow. God. There's something wrong with your dice. I'm calling cheats. There's something wrong with your dice. <laughs> something wrong with my dice. You- bear, in, bear in mind, how many times have I saved my own skin and everybody else's with some of the ridiculous rolls these dice have come. This is just my penance. Uh, it is it is insane. Okay, so um, I'm going to roll a little thing here. Interesting. Should I roll, should I roll a percentage die too? Uh, no, it's not necessary. <laughs> uh, so so good news, good news. Um, mm-hmm. As the, the process of this creature passing through you is actually the same as you being attacked by a wind elemental. But it missed both times, probably because it wasn't trying to hit you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, So you actually, which surprised me, don't take any damage. Uh, It actually rolled a four both times, by the way. But I lost my sheet, didn't I? Well, you... (laughs) We're all losing our sheets. You actually did not lose your sheet, because I I told you that you did not lose your sheet. 
Um, so you are actually tossed upwards and a little to the side. You still have your sheet, but you're still kind of falling. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, how, how far from the ground is he at this point? Uh, not very far at this point. Uh-huh. Not very far. Um, Perhaps you a are probably fall at this point. You are probably about, uh, well, let us let the dice decide. Mm-hmm. Please, Dad, be the one to roll it. Because if you went up, that means wow. you stopped going down. Wow. That is interesting. Huh. So according to this, you are only 20 feet <laughs> from the ground now. You are moving very fast because you were flung back upwards and then you're kind of arcing to the side. So things are going to get very interesting for you in a minute. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Morezzi, you see a giant wind dragon with silver eyes uh, flying up towards you. Uh, there are still several villagers that are trying to scramble up onto the vines or make their way across. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, can I roll, like, I don't know what it would be, maybe... Um, uh, dexterity or strength or grapple to like hold the villagers so nobody gets so anyone in a currently precarious situation uh, doesn't get thrown away by the dragon. Yeah, absolutely. You can kind of try to price them. That would just be a strength check, followed by a reflex saving throw. That is a ten. Okay. And what is your reflex saving throw? Five. Uh, it's still not a failure. I just need you to not roll a one. Um, yeah. It would be really bad if you rolled a one. Um, that will actually bring it to Pinton. All right. Um, so I'm assuming I've offloaded a bunch of people at this point. Oh, um, yes, yes. Uh, I will say that Aud- that Audrey 3 is actually empty now, except for you and for uh, Aki. Okay. Um, That's who I really care about. <laughs> who lives or dies? And uh, am, I, am, am I, I like at an angle where I'd be able to see this happening? The dragon. Oh yeah, situation? yeah. you okay. see, you see everything happening. Okay. Um. Well, duly impressed. Um. <laughs> um. I'm gonna be kind of stunned at watching that. Um. Gosh, he missed him. I'm gonna. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna continue to try and commune with Bahamut and see if he can convince the air elemental to try and catch. Oh, Sakai. And okay. Since he's a dragon thing, and Bahamut's the god of dragons. Right, right. Have like like a bonus or something. No, it's just a straight arcana roll. Right. Um, That's and that arcana roll was a, a, a nineteen plus five. Interesting. Well, uh, you did see that its eyes, its silver eyes, uh, did have a, a certain reminiscence of a certain platinum dragon. Mm-hmm. And uh, you actually see them flash briefly. And it, it actually turns back towards uh, Osokai uh, as if like, hmm? And it, it's, its head whips around impossibly fast. In fact, you kind of almost like Terminator 2 style, like the, the front of the head just becomes the back of the head, if you see what ah, I'm saying. Gotcha. As it just whoop. It turns and, itself uh, backwards. Yeah, it out. turns itself inside <laughs> out almost, yeah. And uh, because that those things don't actually mean the same things to an air elemental. And it starts to dive downwards, and it is actually the Aracokra's turn. And so, so, they... Sorry, mm-hmm. just, to, just, just to clarify some things. We're assuming Earth-like gravity here. Um, yes. At this point... I am traveling approximately 210 kilometers an hour towards the ground. Well, what uh, what I will say is what, what happened is the, the air elemental went through you uh, or, you know, it, it flew through mm. you on the way up. And what happened is you were actually catapulted back up. So you were about to into the ground. Uh, it came it from your appearance. It almost looks like it came out of the ground, though, of course, it was summoned. Uh, so you were flung back back up, but also uh, off to the, an angle. Uh, so it did break some of your terminal velocity. I just got air uh, juggled by a dragon. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and if it had rolled, by the way, you would have taken an incredible amount of slam damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it fortunately missed both times. Slam if 
you want to jam. <laughs> uh, so as far as you are no longer falling at the same velocity as if you had fallen 200 feet. Uh, but you are still falling a lot uh, in an unpleasant amount. Uh, I mean, if pressure. things go wrong, I will be jam. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll put um, you in a nice, uh, nice mason jar. Yeah, next to there the wyvern. <laughs> um, so the the Aracocra are all diving down, and they are, are reaching out their hands, and they're making like a <laughs> sound. Uh, what that means, you do not know. Uh, ticks, <laughs> probably what the heck? Going, yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you like, do to my elemental? <laughs> <laughs> who stole my Who stole my summon? That's right. That's right. Uh, oh and boy. ticks, that would make it your turn. Well, um, I'm going to continue praying since I think I believe I am on the other side of the ravine from, or I guess I'm on the same side of the ravine, but I'm at the vines and Hinton's over at the bridge i'm gonna start heading towards audrey three okay uh you can make your way uh you can just take a quick little trot over to uh the the other side of the bridge that is not coursing with water and make your way over to audrey absolutely okay okay that's gonna be my turn okay um and that will bring it to osokai uh (laughs) you are hurtling through the air and you are uh, a, a sheet is flap 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 flapping in your arms and you are now hurtling again towards the ground. I guess I'm going to try and grab hold of the last little corner. Not that it's going to make any difference. What am I doing? This is literally my last shot. Because if I screw this yes. up, I outside of some Deus Ex Machina, I'm dead. I don't care how fast that air element can move. It's not saving. Uh, it's it's all I've got. Uh, More like Deus Ex Dragon. I was gonna say Dragon X Machina, um, Lizard X Machina, Dragon Dragon Dragona. Yeah, I like that one. It's all I got. I'm gonna try and grab for the corner of the sheet. It might slow me down by an inch, but it's all I've got. Okay, uh, I would actually say this is a just a dexterity roll, uh, just a straight okay. roll with your dexterity bonus. Okay, that's a four. <laughs> Uh, four. I, I think I, I, somewhere out there, one of our listeners must be very, very good at math. And the odds... Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, you know, I know, the odds I know, a, I know. <laughs> is, ...is staggering that you would roll nothing over a four for the entire session. I'm, I'm, I'm literally sitting here going, I, I should be playing the lottery with these ridiculous... <laughs> like, one, lots of ones, a two, and a three. That's all I've got. Okay. It is actually the air elemental's turn. And the air elemental is going to make... Uh, it has two attack rolls. That was a four. <laughs> you rubbed see. off on him, Ali. Oh, my God. You know, if one of those hits me, it might save me. I think that's what he's going for, but it could also kill me. Let's see. That is 13. That will not hit. Well, it will not hit you. Uh, but that is not, it's not exactly... Maybe he mm. was rolling for grapple? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have a dex modifier at this okay. point, so... I... You still need to beat 15, though. Or, like, touch, or something? Flat-footed? Any of the okay. things where his armor class is low? So, um... <laughs> Lee, Actually, that or, would be sorry. a touch attack. Osokai, Osokai, mm-hmm. uh, you actually take 12 points of... I'm sorry, there's a plus two. 14 points of slam damage. Uh, What happens is the air elemental with its dragon claws, its wind dragon claws, are swiping at you. One of them uh, misses. The other one just comes underneath you and just wham underneath you and pushes you back upwards. Uh... It is only the fact that it's made of air is the only reason you're not dead. Uh, Because if it had been a solid object, it would be no different than hitting the ground. Um, But as it is, it it pushes you back upwards. It's also a wind elemental, so it can't quite catch you, and also it didn't roll high enough. And so you have actually gone back up ever so slightly. This is just nuts, guys. This is just... Totally, totally nuts. Now, um, I'm not sure because I I reformatted my computer and 
lost my sheet, but I'm fairly sure I had actual damage from one of the encounters that we never got to yes, rest and yes, regenerate. You had, you had actually taken damage before. Um, um, if I remember no, rightly, I, w- I was down to like 13. Well, but the, well, I 12. did say I did say to everyone that they did heal when the spell ended, and you did not heal as much. You would have healed as much as when you shift. Uh, how much do you heal when you shift? Three. Three. So okay. you're at three HP. Not dead. Yet. <laughs> that's always uh, a good thing. Not yet. It's actually, yet, yet. It's actually two. Yeah, you're at two hit points, yeah. falling to your death with a sheet in your hands, <laughs> plummeting uh, to the darkness below with a giant wind dragon above you. So uh, how things much- are... How much speed of his speed has been decreased by the dragon hit? Well, science says all of it. Yeah. He's yeah, starting from it, scratch at that height. Since it has since it has uh blown him back upwards, he he has actually, you know, reversed that. It's not like he still has the fall from before, but he is still falling. He is still falling 20 feet. That could be fatal. When yeah, he strikes the ground. After the first ten feet, the first ten feet of falling is negligible. You can survive it. After after the first ten feet, you need to make rolls or Yeah. Yeah. Um Okay, so Morezzi, anything you'd like to do? I'm just gonna roll a strength check to see if I can help more villagers do their villager things and not die like our ranger is going to. Okay, give me that quick strength and reflex. The strength check is a 21. Wish I could have donated that roll to Osokai. <laughs> and hey, Lee, reflex? remember that you, you got a point of inspiration earlier, so from your it's true. reference. Just just wanted to, I remembered that immediately, and my reflex save is a 4. A 4. Uh, still, still not a catastrophic failure. So with a 21, you actually are able to help several people, and it does help because uh, it takes a second because you're so high up, but these incredible, imagine the amount of wind it would take to stop a 300-pound ranger from plummeting to his death. After a second, it comes whooming through the canyon, uh, and you're actually able to steady these villagers and keep them from plummeting off the side. Uh, like and that, that will... Uh, which is is really good job, and that will bring it to Pinton. Okay. Um, well, I've done about all I can do, I think, as far as I'm going to just trust Bahamut to do what he's do the right thing and uh, get Audrey three back across the river to pick up some more people. Okay. You do 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 do. Uh, I won't even need to make you roll. It's just so that's simply what you're doing now. Okay. Um, because these these people are they're making their way. Obviously, they see the bridge. It's not like they're not going to try to get to it. Um, and they see you and they head to you and you are easily able to get the, essentially the rest of the people who are not with Morezzi across. Okay. Um, there's a couple other things going on simultaneously, but I'm, I'm not dealing with those right now because there's, there's other things. There is something happening with one of the Aarakocra. Uh, it is going to make, wow, wow. Fatal yeah. mistake. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of the Aarakocra... Uh, surprisingly, the least one you'd expect it, the one called Beast, uh, actually has the ability to heal. But it is a touch attack, and it missed. <laughs> it he missed a missed. touch? <laughs> yep. Yep. Rolled a three. <laughs> Rolled a three. Uh, uh, I hope, I've so even, I hope you've got an even more epic music track lined up for this one. <laughs> Oh man, man! I really tried. I, I uh, doing music is actually trickier than than I. Yeah, uh, it's one of the reasons I don't typically. But I did put it in the last ones because of the epicness of the. The balance thing. is gonna um, be rough. Yeah, I I did my best so that it didn't overwhelm the the audio, but he he misses and uh, his is you you see this crackling healing energy coming towards you and then whoop, like his hand is snapped by the edge of the sheet, <laughs> or I should say your tent. And uh, he can't quite get you. Uh, Tix, it is your turn. Tix is going to go over next to Penton and look at Penton and look down and shake his head and hold his action. Okay. Action held. Oh, Sokai, mm-hmm. it is your turn. All right. 
Sorry, I'm just making sure that. Please use something besides you die, please. <laughs> you don't have any potions or anything, do you? Use nope. your point of inspiration. You will not y'all have did, it for much. Y'all longer. did actually find some potions. You just don't know what they do. So uh, <laughs> maybe one's a flying potion. So here's the thing: I could survive hitting the ground, depending on how much damage I roll. Mm-hmm. That's true. Because it's one d six points of damage per ten feet fallen. Right. So as long as I low, roll low on the damage hit when I hit the ground, I could survive. I'd be unconscious because there's no way I'm survive. I'm I'm not. Do you think maybe wasn't be... uh, wasn't uh, instant death like a uh, mm-hmm. negative one half your hit points? No, it's negative ten. No, it's negative ten. If you hit negative ten, you're dead. Gross. So yeah, um, the only thing I can hope for is to be knocked unconscious when I hit the ground. Maybe you I... could roll like a like a knowledge check to see if you can figure out what one of the potions are and drink that if you can figure out if one's a healing potion. I don't have any potions. Oh, yeah. I'm so I'm assuming you don't have like tumble or anything. Do you? I do not have tumble. Tumble you need uh, training to use and I do not have training. Okay. I um, feel like you would have been trained in that at some point. <laughs> no, Izzy. Unfortunately not. Oh. I'd have to take a rogue Second maybe, you could, class to get maybe you could try intimidating the ground and missing you. Well, I mean, that's up to the DM, but I did intimidate at a giant kraken to go back home, so I mean you've already you've already made <laughs> well. you've already made the hitchhiker's reference. You could throw yourself at the ground and miss. <laughs> I, I did allow I did allow animal handling with the yes. the animal the kraken. Yes. Which technically should not have worked because it no. was a monster, but I allowed it. So uh there, there there are certain things that I will allow in certain circumstances, so uh, whatever uh, you would like uh, to try. Okay. I'm going to try... This is my last ditch effort. I'm going to try a knowledge geography or knowledge nature check to see if there's a soft part of the ground I can hit that might limit my slam damage into the ground. <laughs> That's all I've okay. got. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, will, I will absolutely allow that. Uh, all right. I'm going to roll nature because it's higher. Because I put six pillow trees. Yeah. <laughs> Michael's created a whole new... Ecosystem of pillow trees. That's right. <laughs> so even with a six, that's an eight. An eight, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you're just falling too fast, and the, the the ground below you looks like a big blur of ground uh, with little patches of water. Uh, I will I will allow if you want to try to if you want to try to angle into any water that you see, you can do that. Uh, uh, but you I, have no I, idea if it's going to help you or not. Yeah, I. I I don't know if I've got enough time to even try doing that. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, that will bring it to the air elemental. And the air elemental uh, is going to... And... Rolls a five. <laughs> oh, what a cool little lizard. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I want to know, like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I just want to know which one of you guys spit on an old gypsy woman. Oh, it was me. I'm and you, sorry, and, guys. And, and I know what happened is you said, hey, sorry, little lady. That's just how I roll. And she said, oh, uh-huh. how you roll, huh? Let me show you how I roll. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, uh, gypsy is offensive. I apologize for using that. An old witch. Uh, so I, yes. I, I, I rephrase my statement. Anyway, this is nuts. This is all just completely and utterly nuts. I think what what Marezzi, you rolled one good roll today, right? Yeah, twenty one on a. Has completely... any? I, I think and and uh, 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 I had a couple James, of decent you, ones. You had you had a good a couple of good ones. Yeah. Okay. This is just wow. Anyway, uh, Marezzi, it's your turn. Can uh, I, I will like, say, go ahead. Can I like pr- pray? Yeah, you can pray. I'm gonna play to Grumsh because, like, Grumsh is like, like, you know, he's a strong god. Maybe he can pray to give Osokai the strength to, uh, to, uh, uh save the fall. Save did not um, get this, this, much damage. <laughs> so, I could just imagine Grumsh in the hall of 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 gods in his orcish dwelling. He's one of his. One of his, he's not so chosen because Grumsh really doesn't care much about anybody else. He comes, he comes to his ear. He's like, dude, please. Like, I've got a friend who's falling. C- can you help? 
<laughs> uh, so why? This situation is driven an orc to prey. <laughs> <laughs> what what I like what I do like about this though honestly uh, Izzy is that you're not praying for him to like have a soft pillow below or to fly or something like that you're praying what an orc would pray yes. is the yeah. strength to survive so uh, what I'm telling you is is you would need to roll a natural twenty in order to succeed in this so I will give you a plus one so a nineteen or twenty will have an effect. So go ahead and give that a shot. And no lying now. That's a three. A three. <laughs> a three. Yeah, Grumsh is, is currently at a rave, and he his, his phone is ringing, but he, he can't hear it. He cannot hear it. I'm just going to see which is his big badass orc on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, and, and someone, like one of the other gods next to him says, Hey, isn't that someone praying? And he goes, Yeah, this DJ's really slaying. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the humming perfect. is in time with the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a perfect Foley work there. Uh, Thank who, you. Who did that? Was that, that, was was that James? That was me. James, I want you to take an inspiration point for that <laughs> amazing Foley work. Um, you now have one one inspiration point. I'm um, going to isolate that and use that in one of the outtakes of, as we discuss this. Yep. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Beast is actually make, trying to make a shot again. Hmm. So uh, do you happen to know what your armor class is, flat-footed? Uh, no, there's a, for it's touch a... and flat-footed, they're both 15. Both 15. Yeah. He hits... It, he he got a fifteen. I say that that's because of my grumpsh prayer. There you um, go. Now, sure uh, providing the he, strength to to live, he is uh, he is not a cleric, shall we say? But he does heal you for five points of damage. So okay. take that, that from that it. that two to uh, seven. a seven. And and yes, ticks. I would totally go with danger zone on here. Except again, I do put this up on YouTube. And uh, YouTube will smack me down so hard uh, if I use any uh, copyrighted works. Otherwise, find a, if we were find a MIDI version of it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, or just do that. <laughs> yeah, just do that. <laughs> Buckle yeah, up, everybody! You're about to hear five more minutes of that. <laughs> and uh, that will actually bring it to Tix. Tix is looking for any way to is there any trails or rope paths or rope ladders down into the canyon to recover osokai's body Hmm. Um, so fatalistic i love it yeah well well, what i what i'll tell you is i i said before that these cliffs are almost supernaturally just sheer just whoom that that it, it almost beggars description because y'all all you've all seen some kind of canyons before all of you uh, in one way or another and these are just like whoosh like straight down. Having said that, you do see a series of handholds and kind of like rusty uh, uh, spikes and such that are going down one side of the bridge. Fortunately, not the one that has the water rushing off of it. Uh, so someone could climb down there relatively safely. It would not be a, a danger-free climb, but it would be fairly safe because there's plenty of ropes and, and little spikes sticking out of it. Uh, Tix will make his way over to that point and start heading down. Okay. Uh, quick question. How long does your sanctuary last? Uh, sanctuary lasts for... Should be a number of rounds equal to your... Caster level plus 10? Uh, no, it's 10 no? minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, okay, so still it's got still plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This has all happened in a handful of seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, and that will, uh, as you're making your way down. Oh, go ahead and give me a quick um, roll for your climb. Oh, please no. <laughs> we had enough tragedy. Dexterity. Well, like I said, this is a climb like chance. I said, <laughs> Like I said, uh, this um, does not include, uh, this is not uh, punitive. This just needs to see if you roll catastrophically bad. Which Uh, That is a six and no dexterity, so that's a straight six. 
Okay. Uh, so you start making your way down. And what I'll say is that, like, at one point, like, one of the pi- little, uh, they call that pitons. Yep. Uh, like, just kind of comes out, and you're like, ah! You start to go backwards. You catch yourself. So you you halt your progress. You don't get nearly as far as you wanted to. But you don't fall either. We'll bring it to good old Osokai. Osokai, what would you like to do? So by my math, I've hit the ground. Uh, <laughs> yep. This is ground hitting time. Yep. Um, so I'm going uh, to assume that I was 20 feet up. Uh-huh. The dragon hit me about another 10 feet up. Um, twenty yeah. feet. Yeah, I, I will. I, I will say. I will say that. So let's let's uh, stay with thirty. Thirty feet. So mm-hmm. I have to roll three times on a d six. I will allow you to roll. Ooh. Yeah, because okay. keep rolling once. That's right. <laughs> That's actually a really good point. <laughs> yeah. If it continues, okay. it would be really good for you. And it really don't would. forget your point of inspiration, please. Uh, yeah, so you can re-roll right. one of those if you need to. Okay. That's a five. <laughs> okay. That's a four. Okay. Out, but not dead. And that's a six. Okay. I'm going to re-roll the six. So. Spend my inspiration. Mm-hmm. Very smart. That's a six. I was Somehow I knew that can was going to be Can I give him my, ins- ah. my last inspiration to re-roll that? Uh, I will allow it. You have one more. <laughs> Are you <roll>. sure? <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? How about you roll it for him? I'm uh, not taking the damage. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll allow it. Um, uh, and in fact, I would. Tix, I would like you. Uh, oh, dare I'd like you to roll one d six. Magic number time. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a five. <laughs> Uh, five. So, <laughs> so that puts points. me at a, uh, negative seven. Minus eleven. No. No, wait. You were at seven. You were you were at seven. Seven. Minus fifteen. Fourteen. Minus seven. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, so negative wait, seven. Wait. So negative someone seven. needs to get someone does need to get down here and stabilize me, or else I lose a hit point every round. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh since it's 200 feet down and Tix needs to do a climb every 10 feet. <sighs> well, maybe one of the Eric Kroker knows yeah, how to maybe. stabilize people. Maybe. Maybe. Um, that will actually bring it to the wind elemental. <laughs> and he, it quote unquote lands. And by land, I mean it hovers off the ground and it's kind of looking at your crumpled form. You all, you all saw him just go wham! And you, uh, those who, in this clear air over the rushing water, like, you can hear several sounds of snapping bone as he hits the ground hard. Uh, and he is unconscious, and he is uh, honestly, from where y'all are, you cannot really tell if he's alive or if he's dead. Safe assumption by nearly anyone watching would be, ain't nobody surviving that. Yeah, yeah. You, the the safe assumption, the 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 easy money would be that he's dead. Um, well, I the, believe that Bahamut spared him. Uh, I believe well, that Grump spared him. There you go. Uh, you, what I will tell you, um, uh, James, is that your prayer actually altered this combat in a way that was very beneficial to all of you that you are not aware of. Okay. <laughs> so right. it was it was a it was a good call, shall we say? <laughs> Uh, because something else was going to happen, and then it didn't. Uh, so anyway, uh, that will actually bring it back to Marezzi. I guess I'm going to use... Would the would the handholds be uh, difficult terrain, too? Uh, handhold... Well, I mean, the, at the handholds, you you still... You can't climb down at your run speed. You still can only climb down at your cl- at, at a climbing speed. Well, I don't know what that is, but I feel like it's my duty to also be going heading down that way. Mm-hmm. I think it's I believe 10 it's. feet. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it does make perfect sense for you to head down there because, you know, that's the only place you could actually do something. And there's no that's real way I to do slide down the side of a ladder like the cool funky movies. funky life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you start making your way down uh, behind ticks, and you're uh, very, very sure-footed. Go ahead and make a uh, climb roll for me. If you do not have that skill, it's just a straight roll. That is... 
a 20, unnatural. Okay, uh, you're very easily, very sturdy, just making your way down. No problem whatsoever. Uh, Pinton. There's not a darn thing I can do right now um, as far as that goes, other than just to make sure that uh, everybody's getting out of there safely. Okay. Uh, what you do see happening around, there, there, there has been a lot of other things happening around y'all, but you've been a little distracted. Yeah. Uh, so you can actually see, um, you actually, I don't think um, you, James, uh, heard the name. The leader of this village is a shaman whose name is Mobari, and he has actually been saving some of the people. I don't know any pleasant way to put this, but part of failing the the challenge is that some of the villagers just went over the edge. Uh, Y'all weren't able to save everyone. You actually did save most of them. In fact, I'd say you saved about 90% of all the villagers, but, you know, it was utter chaos, and that that's what happens when you fail a skill challenge, is some of the villagers did go over the edge, and they have struck the ground, and of course they are very, very dead. Um, but what you see is Mobare saving some of the villagers in a very unusual way that I'll get to later. And you actually see uh, Tigrin, the half-orc, uh, is actually helping to save several of the villagers and guide them towards the bridge. So you you are assisting in that process. Okay. Um, and that will bring it to the Aarakocra. Uh They land just almost in a perfect like pentagram shape around you, uh, Osukai. One of them, uh, the female leader, leans down, and she is going to make a roll. That is cocked, my clipboard. She rolled a 17. Oh, she beat the huge. Wow. Out. Yeah. So she is actually able to stabilize you. Yes. Um, so that brings you to zero. Is that correct? No, yep. that just stops me from losing any hit points. Okay. Okay. So that stops you from losing any. Yes. Uh, so she is um, bandaging. What she's doing is she's stopping your bleeding. Yes. Uh, you are badly damaged. You have internal injuries. Both of your legs and one of your arms is broken. Most of your ribs are broken, and your your face isn't looking so great either. And so you are very, very unconscious uh, at this moment, but she has been able to temporarily stabilize you, but you are still in very bad shape. Tix, uh, I believe you're making your way down? Yes, sir. Okay. And after this round, I'm going to speed things up a little bit, just so you all know, but uh, uh, go ahead and give me another climb roll. All right. That is a modif nope, that is a straight 13. 13 will absolutely work. You keep making your way down. And um, Osokai, you have a vision. And in your vision, you see a horse riding towards you. And the horse has a rider. And the rider is coming towards you. And the rider is wielding a whip, and it's getting louder and louder. And there's there, everything about this horse and this rider just screams menace and danger and death. And it rides towards you, and you just hear this cackling laughter. And you see the, the flash of a face, a bearded man's face just cackling and laughing and a hand is just lashing uh, some kind of strange whip out at you and then you feel yourself pulled back into your body you're still not fully conscious and you are in tremendous pain just unimaginable pain and that will uh, actually go back so what I'm gonna do is skip things forward just a little bit because I don't want to do this. What I would like is Tix. Could you just make one more climb roll for me? Oh, of course. <laughs> Let's see what the old Tick dexterity stops falling. can do. Here comes the one. Uh, that is my uh, another 13. Okay. Uh, so yes, I, I don't want to... Okay, roll again. Okay, roll again. Okay, roll yes. again. No, no, no. That's that's silly. Um, you successfully make your way down. Marezi, you make your way down shortly after him. Uh, Tix, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, once Tix gets down to him, uh, I'm going to first cast a lesser rest or restoration on him and uh, 
mend the bones, and then I will proceed to cast uh, several Cure Light Wounds. Okay. Or, no, Cure Moderate. We'll go straight with Cure Moderate. Gotcha. No, no, no point in holding Ack at this point. Yeah. Uh, and Beast had actually used his only heal. Um, oh, wait. I have a third level spell. I'm going to cast Cure Serious Wounds first. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. So tell. Uh, go ahead and roll that. Uh, roll that heal. All right. And that is a total of 25 points of healing. Mm. Gotcha. Along okay, with so... the restoration. So his bones are, or at least some of his bones are mended mm-hmm. so that his brains aren't leaking out of his ears any more than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, At this point, I just want to die to get away from that. <laughs> so Tix gets, um, down, Tix gets down there on the floor and finds the blood and guts and uh, leaky bowels and walks over to him and uh, gets down and starts praying and lays his hands on to cast cure wounds, uh, cure serious wounds and uh, restoration and says... One more time, bear boy. I'm here for you. You'll never live it down. <laughs> and uh, Osakai, you just feel the the just energy flowing into you, and you feel your bones just <laughs> as they knit themselves back together. Uh, one of the general things that I say is, if someone has taken combat damage uh, that is not catastrophic, that that a cure wounds will heal that. So like. If your arm is broken in the middle of battle, like a cure will mend that bone. Uh, it just won't necessarily mend other effects. And there were a whole lot of effects going on with your body, so it's really good that he cast the restoration as well, because you had just severe internal bleeding and uh, probably, you know, like a bleeding kidney and probably a kidney that was laying on the ground. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tix so, would say he's uh, usually a mess, but... You know, yeah. Uh, so, uh, a question though, Osokai, is there anything that you would like to say? So close. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost, uh, but so, so close. And that's where we'll end. Chafing Armor, episode seventy. Thank you all for joining me on this crazy fall. You're welcome, Thank everybody, you. for me saving everyone uh, by showing uh, up. Oh, I enjoyed you. doing absolutely nothing. Uh, again, that was the craziest set of rolls I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, and he absolutely could have died. I was just, I was enjoying the ride so much, but it 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 really came down to just a couple of very minor things at the end. Well, it's that... because he got all his natural 20s beating up on poor ticks. That's right. That's right. He rolled extremely well when he wanted, whenever he wanted to bat you across the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, what, what I'd like everybody to who's listening to do, if you've if you've enjoyed this, uh, as has been mentioned before, tell somebody about it. You know, go and say, "Hey, there's this crazy podcast I heard. The entire episode was one guy falling to his death. <laughs> uh, that was the whole episode. Was this guy falling to his death?" And uh, you have to check it out. It's called Chafing Armor. So uh, please do that for us, and we'll all say thank you. Say thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. I'm grateful if you could to give you. us uh, a nice five star review on iTunes, that would help out also and get us closer to the top of the list. Also, the you can join our Facebook group on Facebook and w- listen to our videos on YouTube. Also, uh, we'd love mm-hmm. to interact with you there. Absolutely. We we absolutely respond, and we have a lot of fun on our Facebook page. We share a lot of really dumb uh, Dungeons & Dragons memes, and we have a lot of fun with that. Uh, and so don't please, forget, please get that. Hashtag hot nuts. And <laughs> remember, hot nuts. everyone. Hot nuts. Hashtag hot nuts. Uh, so good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, good night, good night Captain. And we will roll with you soon. <laughs>